Hello church family and good morning. We have a lot of great things happening today. Really quick, I just want to remind you that if you are a first time guest here, whether online or in person, please text NLGUEST, one word, to 97000. Also, if you haven't yet, please pull out the Church Center app and go ahead and check in. Again, if you are online or in person, please check in. We want to pray over these names, so please go ahead and check in. We also have another really fun event coming up, and I'm going to let Emily tell you all about it. So here we go. Good morning, New Life. My name is Emily Charbonneau. I wanted to tell you guys that God has instilled a spirit in all of us that is of creativity and entrepreneurship. I want to invite you to our Harvest Expo happening at the Chamber of Commerce this Saturday. We will have vendors there who are crafters or small business owners. We are also still looking for vendors, so if you are interested, pick up an application at the church office. All proceeds from this event are going to support the community center. We will see you next Saturday. Thank you so much, New Life. Hey everyone, we are super excited for Saturday, October 31st. We're gonna be having the drive through carnival right here in the New Life parking lot. So we need your help. We need to collect tons of candy so that every child who comes can get just a ton of candy at the carnival. So be there October 31st. Something else we have coming up here at New Life is a new ministry. So we have a couple of amazing Jasons to tell you all about that. Hey, so I'm here with Jason Burnett. It was a few months ago and Jason came to me and said that he really had felt uh, led to lead a ministry from Stephen Ministries, which is really about caring. And it's really about finding ways to care for people. And, and maybe Jason, can you maybe explain just a little bit, like why is this so important to you, this whole Stephen's ministry or care ministry? Yeah, I think it's really important because I, during the hard times that I had, I felt like there wasn't too many people to walk alongside me and, and I really feel like if we can gather together as the church and come alongside those who are hurting, we can definitely knock it out of the park. Yeah. Um, so at the very get-go, he's looking for a couple people to come alongside him. What is it? A referral, referral coordinator. Yes. And so what exactly is a referral coordinator and what do they do? So a referral coordinator is someone who when a person that's hurting is identified, um, that person would be in contact with this referral coordinator. Okay. And um, it, that person would get them in contact with the minister, the care minister that uh, would support them. So if you think of it like this, there are several people that know people that are maybe hurting, and you're like, man, someone needs to talk to Stacy because Stacy's mom just died and no one's reaching out to her you would contact this coordinator. The coordinator would reach out to Stacy and say, hey, um, you're referred to us. Would you be interested in like talking to somebody? Yeah. So that's the one need. The second need is promotion. Yeah. Just someone to kind of help promote and get it in people, in the public, in the community, uh, not just our church, but the whole community. So if you're interested in helping as a referral coordinator, that you're gonna be the in-between person, or at least would be willing to get some more information. We really need a guy, especially for yes. this. Um, would you please contact the Church Center app? Or wait, we also need promotion. If you can be help promote Church Center app on your phone, you can go to your phone, small groups, places to serve, and you see a, a heading called Care Ministry, and just click on that, and that will alert Jason. Or you can email care at newlife906.com. Again, that's care at newlife906.com. Or if you have any questions, you can't do those too, but you're like, yes, I love this. I want to get trained. I want to start training training today. Um, go ahead and those three places you can contact. Yes. Thank you, Pastor Jason and Jason. That is such an amazing opportunity. If you feel like you could help out in that position at all, please do not hesitate to reach out. With that, thank you everyone for attending today. Pastor Will, have... wait, wait, wait. Kids, boys and girls, this is the time for the children's message. And today we're learning all about how God can take what's bad and make it good. So go ahead and get ready for the children's message now. And now it's time to say goodbye. Did you want to help? No. We'll say, okay. So we hope you have a great Sunday. So many amazing things happening. So be blessed and have a wonderful Sunday, everybody. That hurt. <laughs>
Good morning, it's Pastor Monica here. Super excited to have you with us today. One thing I've been noticing is there has been so many people walking around that are just stressed and feeling anxiety and just depression. And no wonder, because our world has literally been turned upside down. And, and not only that, but there's just people just disagreeing over everything, which is which is fine, we all have our opinions, but it's when uh, that turns into disrespect or just being not kind to each other. And so that can feel overwhelming and heavy. And so I just was wanting to encourage you to do something kind this week to someone. Maybe you can send someone a, a, a message or a text or give them a phone call, buy someone coffee or a soda, whatever it is, think of something that you can do that is generous to someone else. And hey, studies show that when we do stuff for others, it makes us feel good. It makes us feel joy. So it's kind of a double bonus. And God wants us to be super generous with everything that he has given us. I mean, he gave his best, his son. And so he wants us to be super generous, whether we're giving financially or whether we're giving of ourselves and just showing kindness and love. So I wanna encourage you with that this week. And also as we continue our worship with giving, I just wanna say thank you for being generous givers. We have three different places you can give here at New Life. You can do your tithes and offering, your missions, and also towards the community center. And we like to make it super easy for you to give. So you can go online at newlife906.com. You can text an amount to give at 84321, or you can simply drop off your envelope, your giving envelope into one of the generous boxes in the connections area. But the easiest way to give is to give by downloading the Church Center app and giving right there. However you choose to give, thank you so much for being generous givers. And also remember to do something kind for someone this week. Who can you put a smile on their face? Thanks.